Um, so today I'm on Just Cause 3 and we're going to be looking at the insular lacrima mystery that came in with the Mechland Assault DLC. Now if you haven't seen it already and you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry because I'm going to be sort of going over everything that's been found so far so you guys know what's happening. Uh, now basically there's been some things found. Um, now in this region here, there's what everyone thought was a teleporter door. Everyone could only find one button for it. The rest of the buttons have been found and when you open it up, something pretty creepy is inside. I'm gonna start off by showing you that one. Up here in the Eden station, um, well, near here, there's another mystery button that doesn't seem to open anything, but there might be something else hidden near it. And up here as well, there's also some weird little drone that scans you. It's like a bio scanner kind of thing. Now, with there being three things found so far, chances are there's going to be something in these two regions, and that's what we're going to be doing a proper search in. But I'm going to start off by showing you what's been found so far. Now, I'm not really going to be doing fast travel because uh, when you activate a button, as soon as you do a fast travel, it deactivates it again. And you kind of have to start again. But let's get going and we'll go and see what we've found so far. So we're going to start off heading over here so you guys can see what was inside, what everyone thought was a teleporter. And then we'll go out and check the other mystery button that's further into the map. And then we'll go and find the weird drone thing. And then we'll get searching and see what else we can find. So this is the door, it kind of glitched out then anyway. Everyone thought this was like a teleporter um, and there was only one button that people could find and that was this one. And when you activated it, nothing seemed to happen at all and it kind of annoyed a lot of people. But what you need to do to open it, if you head up here, there is another little cabin. And there's another button. And if you go down here into the woods, if I can find this one. There we go. There is the other button. Now when you've activated this one, this is what opens the door that everyone thought was a teleporter. But it's not. When you go inside, there's just some weird little shrine. Now this is the first thing that was found and um, that's part of the mystery, no one knows what it is. But now we're gonna go and check out the second part of it, which we need to go up here to the goose station. Again, like I say, I'm not gonna fast travel because it'll reset the button. And if there is something that sort of connects everything together, as soon as I fast travel, it's gonna deactivate everything and I'm gonna to have to start again. Hopefully I don't crash too much, but let's get there. No, did it again. Right, so we'll head over to the goose and I'll show you what was found over here. Now when you arrive here, you can see it's kind of just abandoned, but if you go down one of these buildings, I think it's this one, it might be the next one across, no, here it is, it's got one random button inside it. Now when you activate it, it doesn't seem to do anything whatsoever, there's only the one button, um, none of the other buildings have got buttons inside either, there isn't any other doors, there's nothing else that could possibly open around here. Um, so whether or not this is connected to the other one um, down where the shrine is it could be and that's what we're going to be looking into just to see if there's anything else because out of all these other buildings there isn't any other buttons I've looked around quite a bit I've looked around in there and there's nothing else here so we'll check again just to show you guys anyway but yeah nothing in there nothing over here there's no other sort of teleporter doors and that's mostly what those buttons are for the only other thing that's round here is this but again when you go inside there's nothing there 
so that's the second thing that was found and um, that's part of this myth um, or mystery or whatever you want to call it the next one isn't too far away it's just up here now I hope I'm remembering this right yeah right so when you come down here there's this little hole and when you come in here you'll see there's a drone that's crashed on the floor with a flashing light on it as soon as we go over to it and you get pretty close it kind of starts scanning you now no one knows why none of the other drones in the game do it um, it doesn't look like it does anything like i say there's one button and um, i haven't fast traveled so everything's still activated that i've pressed and done so far that sort of scans you but again there's nothing else around here you can see there's just kind of like everything's abandoned but down in this hole as well i think this is the right one and um, i think there's another shrine down here but we'll go down and we'll check it out say so i think this is the one no it's not that's just a random little hole right so we've checked those ones like i say that's everything that's been found so far um there's one other point up here that i want to go to and um, because i know there's um, a hidden little cave we're going to go check that out and see if there's anything else in there like i say anything could be connected we're not too sure um especially with what happened with like gta there was a load of stuff about the Mount Chiliad mystery. Everyone's still searching on it. And this is kind of like Just Cause's version of it. Uh, there's loads of stuff around, but no one kind of knows how it's connected or what it does. So we're going to go and take a look at this other one just to see if there's anything else there. Because I haven't done it myself since. So when you come up here, there's a little cave. Um, I can't remember how you enter it. Let's see. I'm sure it was in this one anyway. We'll have a look. Might not have been. No, don't drown. Swim up so I might have to kind of stop and remind myself of this one but like I say there was just kind of a hidden little cave and when you went in it there was just one more little um, I think they're called obelisks But to be fair, whether it's connected or not, I'm not too sure. But like I say, that's everything that's been found so far. So what we're going to be doing in this stream is having a look in the two other regions. Because as far as I'm aware, nothing else has been found there. There's two bases. There's a couple of little points. There's a few points to explore. And it's worth having a look just to see if there's anything else we can find. But again, like I said, I'm not going to fast travel. Just because everything that's been activated and done so far, I'll kind of get reset if I do. And I don't want to have to start again. Oh no, here's the cave. We'll have a quick look in here first. So I think that's where we entered. You can kind of see that it's quite big. And this is the other point. This is the other like statue that's in here, but this one hasn't got candles on like the first one. So again, I'm not sure if anything's related. Um, I've opened it, I've pressed the buttons, I've been to the scanner. So if this were gonna do anything, um, I think it would do by now. So what we're gonna do, I think we're gonna skip through here, see if we can get out this way and head to where we were going. If we don't crash too much. And there's nothing down here, I don't think anyway. 
No, it's just kind of some ruins. Right, so we'll head over to this point and see what we can find. This might be worth checking out as well because this is another one that's kind of abandoned. See if there's any more mystery secret buttons lying around that I haven't noticed before. Let's have a look on the map. Right, so we've had a look in that one. We'll have a look around these and then go over there. So the other buttons were kind of just sat either inside or right up against it. The only thing that I think could possibly open with it is this door. But again, I'm not too sure because we don't know if any of it's actually connected. It could just be a ploy to get more people digging and playing the game. But you never know, it's still worth a look. It's still pretty interesting. Alright dude. Right, um I'll have a look in this other warehouse, see if there's anything else that's pretty weird. Right, so in this point there's just the doors that are a bit they look like they could possibly open. And since we haven't fast traveled after activating the secret button at the goose, if, if anything was going to happen with it, it should have done now. Like I say, we haven't fast traveled, so it won't have reset. As long as we don't die, we should be fine. Let's get up in the air and see if there's anything else around here. Right, so there don't look to be anything down there. We're still in this region anyway, but I thought it'd be worth having a look while we're there. No. Right, so let's go to where we was going before. So I think this is where a bit of a mission took place as well. But it's still worth looking just to see if there's any other buttons around. couple of empty warehouses that we can have a quick look in. The only good thing with this one as well, um, everything isn't too hidden. It is fairly open. If you spot it, it's there. It's not really small and there's nothing that's hidden in places where people wouldn't find. If you do exploring all the buildings and stuff, chances are if there is anything to be found, you will find it. And that's just what we need to do now and just to see if there's anything else connected.
just fly by these, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Alright, so there's nothing in either of the warehouses. Um, we can have a quick look over there. No, I thought we could get inside there, but we can't. Right, so we can have a quick look down here. Uh, it's quite early, it's um, one second. It is quarter to 11, nearly lunchtime. Right, so the only place on this base we've got left to look is up here and over there. But again, unless there's some secret cave or something that we've not spotted, which there could be. Something that I might do later on in the stream. Right, so there's nothing on this point. Um, the only other places that we've got, let's see. I think if there were going to be a cave, it's probably likely to be kind of here or through here. Where are you from? So what we'll do, we'll have a look in this bit here, see if we can get in and down here as well. Uh, but first we'll have a quick look on this base. Now I can't remember which one this is, I'm not too sure how big it is because the proper army ones, there isn't usually anything there. Um, we can have a quick look on the outskirts and check inside the warehouses and stuff. Wow, I'm from the UK. All right, so this one looks like it's pretty empty. That one was to open the weapons cache. Um, so I think if there was any other buttons in this one, I probably would have spotted it. Um, just because you had to look for the buttons in the game, but I've not looked inside the prison cells or anything. So there could be an Easter egg in here, we never know. No. Right, so what are the points have we got to look at? We've got all the way up here, yeah, so we'll go and take a look up there. Um, yeah, we'll take a look in this bit and then we'll go up to the main bit. Again, in the prison cells, I pressed the button to let the prisoners out to do the thing in the mission, but I haven't actually checked inside them. Same as the other one. Like I say, because of the kind of base that this one is, I don't think there will be anything here. Me neither. I finished the game um, a couple of weeks after it first came out. The only time I really play it now is when the DLCs come out and just have a mess around. The only reason I'm playing it now so much uh, because there's a few weird things, um, secret buttons and stuff that have been found that no one knows what they are and I'm just trying to solve it, see if I can find any more clues. Nice.
There's never anything in the guard towers either. We'll have a look in this prison cell, see if there's anything in here. Again, the other good point as well, anything that you can activate and stuff, it kind of has a light on it or flashes, um, so you don't really miss it either. It's not too hidden. Um, I think the only way they'll implement multiplayer is if they do what Fallout did and let us use mods on the console. Um, they did talk about doing it before it came out. They haven't done anything with it so far, but after the... Um, Bavarium Sea Heist DLC comes out, you never know um, when a lot of people stop playing the game if they let the mods come to console it'll get a lot of people back into playing it so it could happen nothing in this one either no alright so let's get up in the air and see what else there is to see right so there's that main bit there had a look down there. Right, so we've pretty much only got this bit and inside, and then we've covered this base. Well, we fall out. Um, I never really played it. I just know that they've implemented and let people use mods on it now on console. Um, I suppose if they did it on just cause, they, you get the multiplayer because you can get the mod for multiplayer. Um, I don't really know what else they could do. It'd be pretty cool if they did though. It'd definitely get me playing the game more. You can imagine it being like GTA Online, playing with your friends. I know. It's the one thing that's making me think about buying it on PC. So we can't get in that one either. Someone was locked up in there. So with it being a main base, like I say, I didn't think there would be, and no, there's nothing there. Um, what we're gonna do is, if I fly to this point first, so we can sort of see if there's any buildings along this road, we can see if there's any caves or anything in here, then we'll do the same and come up here, and then we'll go check out the other bit and see if there's anything over there. So we'll dive under the water and see what's here. You never know. It looks quite shallow though, so I don't think there will be a cave on this point. No, it's more of a beachy one. Right, so we'll go check out this point here. If there was going to be another cave, I think that's where it'd be. Um, and then we'll go head up here and have a look on these points, just to see if there's anything else we can find. How do you get rid of it? How do you mean? Do you mean on the base or as in the actual weapon that you can get yourself? So again, this one looks more like a beachy one as well, so I don't think there'll be a cave on this point either. But we can drop in and see. 
Um, it'll be, it's part of a mission, if I remember. Um, when you've taken over so many bases, it'll give you a mission that you do that sort of disables it. Um, same with the other two islands where you ended up having to follow, it was like a pipe that went around and you went into a base, disabled it, and then after that you can get in there. But to be fair, you can take over the base um, without disabling the nuke. If you just keep flying through, um, the nuke will keep setting off, blowing up everything in the base, and it kind of destroys itself, so you can get the unlocks without having to do it. It's a bit of a cheat, but there you go. Right, so there was nothing there either. Um, Actually, we'll head up to that point. I've not checked there yet. And then we'll head over to this little island just to see if there's anything worth looking at. Um, I have done quite a few, um, if you look through my older videos, um, I did quite a few on how to unlock different vehicles, different weapons and stuff. Let's see what's down here. There's a boat that's kind of stuck in the ground. Can we move it? No. So I'm not sure if there's anything in this tunnel. This isn't one that I've checked out or seen before. I don't think. No, it doesn't look like there's anything else. No, nope, there's no other entrances in this one. It kind of shoots up to the sky. Where are we? Right, yeah, that's the one that we went in before that had the drone that scanned you. So if we head over to this one, I've already had a look at those islands, there was nothing there, they were completely empty. Alright, we've already checked down there as well. Nice. Got another video coming out later today um, on GTA actually, how to get the aircraft carrier in free mode. That's pretty cool. You can explore it, it's got some awesome stuff inside. I don't think I've checked these buildings before. So we never know, there could be something. No, I don't like it. Cheers, dude. I do try and keep the videos pretty short unless I do like a live stream or a let's play or something. Gets annoying watching a 10 minute video just to find out something that takes two seconds. No worries, dude. Alright, 
so it don't look like there's any buttons down here either To be fair, the point that we've explored quite a bit, I did a video uh, where I'd fully explored the airship from the Sky Fortress as well, just to see if there were any Easter eggs or secret buttons in there. There wasn't anything at all, uh, which surprised me with the amount of things that they put on this island. Hopefully when they bring the Bavarium Sea Heist, you never know, they might add something onto the island, there might be something else that sort of connects things. So everything that we've found so far might do something in the overall game when all the DLCs are out. Would be a bit cheeky that you had to buy like every single DLC just to try and figure the mystery out. Um, not too long now I don't think. There's not that much left to explore. I'm just going to finish looking around here, this base and up here. And probably go around this point and down here see if there's any caves so probably another 15 minutes or so um, but it'll be on my channel so if you do miss it uh, you'll be able to catch up on it later um, i think all these doors are shut i know when you do the mission they're all open But you never know, there could be something hidden on one of these walls, another button or something. It's worth having a look at. No worries. I saw something flashing there and that's kind of how the buttons usually flash. No. Right, so we've gone all the way around the bottom part and there's nothing else there. Check the top quickly. No, I will fall off. Right. All these doors are shut, I were expecting to find at least one open. Um, like I say, when you did the mission, some of them were open. See you later. What's your name, dude? Is it Evo or Dex? What would you like to be called? Alright, so there's nothing on the top either. Can have a quick look up here. Alright, so no, I know the mission took place there, so it looks like you can only actually get in there when you do the mission, which is a shame. Um, it, Cause I know the only pain with this game, as far as I know, you can't replay missions. Take it easy, dude. All right, so let's go take a look down here. All right, that must be where you left 
the mission, so there's definitely nothing there. Um, but we have got another warehouse. See if there's anything on the outside. No, it's just rubbish. <laughs> So no, it doesn't look like there's anything in there either. Um, there's no other points. What are these things? Right, there's no other points over here and there's never anything in those towers anyway. So we've got, what else have we got to look at? So we looked there, there was no cave or anything there. If we have a look on this bit of coast, and then finish up up there just to see if there is anything. If there isn't, um, chances are there might not be anything else to it. It might have just been something there to get us playing the game. Like I said, the game's a bit more open than like GTA. So any Easter eggs and stuff, any secrets that are there to be found, usually are pretty out in the open. So no, it doesn't look like there's anything there either. So we've got one last little place to go. I know last time I did a live stream looking for Easter eggs. I didn't really look that much around the camps because I didn't think there was anything going to be there. And then afterwards I ended up finding the secret button in one of the bases. So it's worth having a quick look. This one looks quite small as well. So again, it looks like the prison cells are all kind of just copied and pasted. You can't get in there. Nope. <laughs> Whereabouts in um, England are they from? Again, that's locked. There's no other buttons around here, it doesn't look like. I think this is the last prison bit as well. Would have been a great opportunity for some Easter eggs in these though, because I wouldn't have even thought of looking inside once I completed the mission. But no, there's nothing. And again, this is pretty basic. Um, doesn't look like you can enter anything anyway. No. Nope. Right, no. So we've proper explored these other two regions. Um, in the similar sort of places that everything else were found like I say any of you guys that play the game um, In case you've missed most of the stream or anything there was a teleporter door there And um, there's three buttons ones at the top of the hill ones in the forest and ones next to it and um, There was also a secret button in here. It's kind of like in this top building if you can see where the arrow is At this point there's a warehouse that's got a drone that's down 
and when you get really close to it, it scans you. Now, all I've done, I've kind of looked in the other two bits that I haven't really explored that much, um, just to see if there was anything else there. I've looked on the same points, and so far we haven't found anything. Um, hopefully, like I say, when they bring out the next DLC, I'm really, really hoping that there will be something else added into it, because uh, I hope they haven't just stuck a random button in there just to get people playing the game. I hope it does do something. But I'm going to end the stream here anyway. So thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy, Pommy. You've been there for a while now. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please hit, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.